Hey everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Welcome to video number 31 in the IC7300 from A to Z series. This time we're going to take a look at the MF band or medium frequency band attenuator. This is a feature that's probably not going to be useful to a lot of you, but if you have any interest in frequencies below 160 meters, you might find this kind of handy. Let's take a look. Okay, you'll notice that I have the radio set here to the AM broadcast band. And that's so that we can take a look at the medium frequency band attenuator. This is just one of the set functions. And uh, it's pretty simple. You go into the menu. We're going to go to set. And we're going to go to function. And it is on the second page here under functions. MF band attenuator. I've actually got it off right now. The default for it is on, but if you like to do some AM broadcast band DXing at night or anything below 1.5999 megahertz, that's where the frequency or where this filter ends its uh, uh, effectiveness. It's from basically 30 kilohertz up to 1.599 megahertz. So I've got it set to on right now, and we'll take a look. And you can see on the scope here a pretty noticeable difference in the signals, and I've actually got a couple of scope shots we'll look at here, uh, or screenshots from the rig that we'll take a look at more closely in a minute. That's really all there is to the function, though, is just on and off. And actually, I had it off to start. I'm going to leave it on as that is the default. It, uh, according to the manual, provides about 16 dB of attenuation. And we'll go take a look at these scope shots and see how that lines up with what it shows on the scope. This is a screen capture that I took from the radio when I was playing around with the filter earlier. And if you take a look at the upper right corner here where the grid legend is, it says that the vertical lines represent 100 kilohertz and the horizontal lines represent 10 dB steps. So let's take a look at one signal here just above 600 kilohertz. And you'll see that it's just about on the second line down from the top. So 20 dB down from the very top line. Now, let's take a look at this next screen capture, which is the same setup, except I have the medium frequency attenuator on. And on this one, that same station that was uh, above 600 kilohertz, you'll notice that it's about halfway between the third and fourth line, just uh, not quite halfway up. So if we compare that to the first one, this would be 10, 15, just about 16 dB down. So it looks like the filter is pretty close to the 16 dB they advertise, at least on the rig zone scope. So there you have it. That's the medium, fe medium frequency filter attenuator. I'm not quite sure why I keep wanting to call the attenuator a filter, but hopefully you'll forgive me that. At any rate, that's about it for this time. If you do have some interest in the 2200 meter band or the 630 meter band, you might find this useful because you probably want to turn that attenuator off if you want to listen down there, and you can do that with the 7300. You can't transmit down there, but you can at least see what's going on. I hope you found it useful. If you did, uh, I would appreciate some likes and also any comments that you have or suggestions or corrections or anything else that you want to leave for a comment. I'm happy to see that. If you're enjoying the series, please consider subscribing by clicking on the button that will show up on the lower right at the end of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.